Hello and welcome back to another quick video. Today we're going to be talking about back focus pertaining to astrophotography accessories. Something like this Starazona SCT corrector which drops us down to f6.3 from the regular f10 of a regular Schmidt Cassegrain that we can do long exposure astrophotography with. The problem is, is that a lot of these accessories have a thing called back focus and back focus pretty much means the amount of distance between this optical accessory and your camera that it has to be to achieve perfect correction from edge to edge on that camera chip. So this basically corrects for field curvature, so coma on the edges of the optical train, flattens that field, and also reduces the focal length for us. So instead of 2000, this will make my telescope roughly 1300 millimeters, give or take a little bit. So it'll drop it down 0.63 times, whatever your focal length is. We have to do some calculation for back focus. Each manufacturer is a little bit different. This SCT corrector particularly is a 90.3 millimeters of back focus. Now most of the time, most accessories are just 55 millimeters. Some work really well and other ones really don't. And so you have to kind of play and pick and choose a really good corrector that's going to work really well for you. Typically the cheaper they are made. Obviously, they may not correct as well as some of the higher end ones like the Star Arizona one. But in order to get that 90.3 millimeters back focus, we have to do a little bit of playing here with different spacers in order to get that exact length. So Star Arizona also sells a 35.3 millimeter spacer here. So basically, we take that 90.3, we subtract 35.3. Now we're at 55 exactly, which 55 is the magical number because in your box of your ZWO camera or a similar Astro camera, you normally get two spacers. One is normally a 21 millimeter and the other one is a 16 and a half millimeter. If we subtract, they'll equal 17.5 will be your final number. So take 90, subtract the 16, the 21, and then the 35, you'll get 17 and a half will be your final number. Now, most ZWO cameras with the collar on, or if you have something like the 2600 MC Pro, like I do, you have to you actually have to take the collar off. But this will equal your last bit of your 17.5. So you can look up on ZWO or QHY or whatever manufacturer of camera you got and see whatever the back focus is from the top of the rim down to where the sensor sits. Now these are removable collars here, so you can remove these if you need a different backspace. But on this particular 183 MC Pro, the collar is necessary to achieve that 17.5. And then once we do this, we just simply start threading all of our adapters together. And it may seem kind of silly to have this be as long as it is, but once we're done with this, this entire thing from the corrector here all the way back is 90.3. So this will be fully corrected from edge to edge for this camera. And we just simply slide it into the back of the SCT. And now we can hook up all of our camera accessories and such and do some deep sky imaging. I hope this helps with back focus and understanding why it is so important. I'll see you next time in clear skies.